Hey everyone, my name is Jason Lenny and I'm the product manager for uh, CICD here at GitLab. And today I'm gonna to take us through the verify features in the upcoming 12.3 release, which will be coming out on the 22nd of this month. Um, so first up is filters for pipelines. And what this feature introduces is uh, on the pipelines page, it'll now allow you to filter by a number of different options. So you can see what that uh, is going to look like here, where, well, we won't be using Comic Sans, but uh, <laughs> we will, um, that's a promise. We, we will um, allow you to select branch, tag, commit author, things like that, and do a search very similar to what you do with issues today uh, in order to find the pipelines that you're interested in. We know this page can be very busy, and on a large instance, there can be many, many pipelines that are available here, and this will help you get to what you're looking for easier. Next up is making it easier to install the group runner on Kubernetes. Um, so we're not really adding any new functionality with this feature um, because uh, it's already possible to automatic or to install a group runner on Kubernetes. But we're making it much, much easier by having a single button here that will let you uh, do that in a very, very easy fashion. So we hope that this will make it a little bit easier to find for people and a little bit easier to use. Um, merging stages across includes. So if you're a user of our includes feature in GitLab pipelines, you may have seen that if you um, define stages in your core uh, or in one include and then redefine uh, additional stages in a different include, um, that the last one will overwrite. So you'll only end up with um, you know, whatever the last content was, the last value for all of the stages rather than it merging them, uh, which you might expect. Uh, uh, there's a little example here in the issue where maybe you have a GitLab CI YAML that defines build, deploy, and test, but you have a, um, another include out there that wants to define a new compliance stage. What would have happened before is that this, you'd have ended up with a pipeline with a single compliance stage, which is probably not what you were looking for. With this new feature, um, it will merge these together and run all of them. Uh, we're also trying to fit in a, um, a stretch item, which means that uh, we're not sure if we'll get to it, but we're going to try um, to allow you to order these things so um, that you would insert, be able to directly insert something at the beginning or at the end, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for certain types of includes where you're trying to include something that should always run first or always run last. Uh, a run pipeline now button for merge request pipelines. Uh, if you're a user of our merge request pipelines feature, you know you can get a lot of value out of being able to turn on and off uh, jobs, depending on whether it's in the context of a merge request, or more importantly, uh, to actually run the pipeline in the context of a merge request so that um, the merge result is available. So the source plus the target branch is built together as if you'd already done the merge and then it's tested uh, in the pipeline. Uh, one thing that was missing there was the ability to uh, request a new one of those. Um, so you could run the pipeline when you made a commit, but you couldn't, uh, from the merge request itself, say, I want to run another pipeline in the context of the merge request. Uh, with this MR, uh, we're uh, adding that feature. So that'll now be a lot easier to use if you have that use case. Uh, and then finally, adding merge request links to the pipeline view. Um, this is just a nice little uh, usability feature that will add, um, so this, this uh, pipeline page that you might be familiar with, um, that'll tell you, you know, the number of jobs, what the tag was on it, what the SHA that was built, it'll also now add a link to the merge request, so it's a little easier to find your way back uh, if you end up, end up on a pipeline page. Uh, this is something that I'm personally really looking forward to, because uh, I'm often bouncing around from pipeline page to merge request and so on, uh, and this will just make that so much easier. Uh, and that's it for the verify release in our upcoming 12.3, or the verify stage in our upcoming 12.3 release. Uh, if you have any questions or thoughts on any of these items, we would love for you to jump in uh, to the conversation on these issues. Uh, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can also reach out to me directly. I'm on Twitter. Uh, my handle is at J4LENN, uh, or my email address is Jason at GitLab.com. Um, anyway, love to hear from you. I uh, hope there are some features in here that you're excited for. Uh, I'm looking forward to delivering them to you. Thanks.